right, here's another one of my uh, all-time favorite problems here, okay? Uh, and again, this is going to be an optimization. Uh, um, this is going to be, we're going to try to minimize the cost with this operation. So here's the situation, okay? Uh, there's oil that's uh, offshore, okay, 20 miles offshore out here. So I'm going to mark that off, okay? 20 miles offshore, that's this distance here. It's 20 miles. It has to get to the uh, refinery, which is a hundred miles down uh, down the coast here. Okay, so that distance is a hundred miles. Now, uh, the idea is to minimize the cost because what happens is uh, the cost, obviously, the cost to uh, bring it in from underwater is going to be more expensive than to bring it across land. So we've given we're, we're given these considerations, okay? It's uh, ten thousand dollars a mile to run the uh, pipe underwater, and uh, five thousand dollars per mile to run the pipe over land. Okay? So what we want to do is, should we come directly by water? I think that's going to be the most expensive route. Okay? Uh, should we come directly in 20 miles and then run down 100 miles, okay, is that the most economical route? Or is there some point in between, let's say this point D, okay, that we can minimize the cost, okay? So we're going to assume there is some point here, D, all right? Because otherwise, I'm, I'm going to try to beat 20 miles at ten thousand dollars per mile okay so that's 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 two hundred thousand dollars and then five hundred thousand dollars to run it across the hundred miles here so you know I'm going to try to get something under seven hundred thousand miles that's what I'm trying to beat seven hundred thousand dollars okay so what we got to do is uh, is we've got to try to designate some way of mapping this out so that we can uh, minimize our cost, okay? So I don't know what this length is, but I'm going to designate this as X, okay? So I'm going to designate that length as X, that length BD is X. Now, I'm going to assume that there's some route A to D, okay? And the cost is going to be, okay, whatever the length AD is, AD length, times, okay, uh, that's underwater, so that's going to be 10,000. I'm going to just write it as 10. We'll, we'll multiply everything by 1,000 later, okay? And then I have another length, okay, of DC that is going to be at $5,000 per mile, okay? So that's at length DC of $5,000. So that's my cost, but that's not a function, okay? So my cost is $10,000 per mile along this route and $5,000 ,000 $5, a mile along this route. So that's what I have to start with. Now I have to look at things in terms of X. If the entire length BC is 100, and my length BD is X, then it makes sense that DC, this length, is 100 minus X. That's 100 minus X, okay? That's obvious, right? Now, if I look at this right triangle here, AD, ABD, then I have, okay, my hypotenuse of the right triangle here is... Um, is AD, which by Pythagoras is going to be what? The square root of 20 squared plus x squared. So there I have it, okay? Okay, there I have uh, what I can essentially write in as a function because my length AD in terms of x is, is 20 squared or 400 plus x squared, the radical. So I'm coming up with a cost as a function of x now, okay, which is going to be 10. Again, I'm just writing this 10. I'm going to multiply everything by 1,000. No big deal. Times the length AD 
which we just said was the radical 20 squared or 400 plus x squared, okay? And um, plus $5,000 per mile at length GC, um, which is designated at 100 minus x, okay? Now it's going to make, uh, this is by no means quadratic, and by no means can we optimize this analytically uh, until we look at the, uh, uh, until we get into the calculus. But again, we can, we can uh, minimize this uh, cost, okay, by looking at the function that is defined here and finding the, the minimal value of that function. But of course, we want to know where we want to look. Well, it looks like we need to look between, um, you know, between the values of, uh, of the range of x values, which have run from 0 to 100. So our x value is going to run between 0 and 100. Okay? 0 and 100. Now, so somewhere within that range of values, this function is going to be minimized. So I'm going to put that on my calculator and we're going to look at it. Okay, we're back. I put that in my calculator. Um, and of course, I just distributed the 5 from the 500 minus 5x there. So um, before I go to look at the picture, I need to look within this range of 0 to 100 and see where I'm bottoming out at. All right, so I'm going to set my table. And we'll set the table running from 0 to 5. I mean, 0 in increments of 5. Okay? And we're going to look for where this thing bottoms out. All right? So that'll take care of that. Now we go look at our table. And our table, uh, there's our top cost of 700000 Okay? And um, in fact, if we let, I, I think you'll see if we went directly by, um, uh, if we went uh, directly across uh, from A to C, then that would be where X is 100, and that would be our greatest cost. So, you know, if you just scroll down here, you'll see that this thing is getting more and more. We're we're getting more and more expensive because we're gonna we're gonna reach uh, at that point, okay, over a million dollars. And this shows that we can get this price under 700,000. And so we're uh, we're in this range between, um, you know, let's say between 0 and 25, that where X is between 0 and 25, we're, we're bottoming out here, okay? We'll probably even go narrower than that, but somewhere between uh, 0 and, and 25, we're bottoming out at uh, this, um, this less than, uh, uh, less than $700,000. So, so that's what I'm going to set this thing at. I'm going to set the, the X to run between 0 and 25. And the Ys are going to run, uh, let's see, uh, there's no sense in running it from 0 on up to 700. Okay, so let's just run it like um, between, uh, between 6 and 700. We'll see the bottom out there. Okay, we'll see a bottom out with that. Okay, so here we go. Let's, let's set that up into our calculator. All right. And uh, when we do that in our calculator here, set that into our calculator, uh, that the, uh, we want to set the window for the x values running between 0 and 25, right? We saw it bottoming out there somewhere between 0 and 25, all right? And we're going to run those y values, like I said, between 600 and 700,000. And... Uh, that that uh, make it easier to see where it bottoms out. So here we go. Uh, run this graph. Okay. We are definitely seeing it come down to a low point. Okay. Now let's find out exactly where that low point is. Okay. So uh, that minimum point, minimum this time. Enter. We're gonna. Scroll in to the left of that low point, and then over to the right of that low point, and uh, figure out where exactly this bottoms out. Let me get, get this out 
about that. Okay, so this is going to bottom out right there at x equals 11.5 uh, with a, with a cost of $673,000. 673000 So x is 11.5. If, if we locate this 11.5 miles down, uh, down from point B, we're going to um, we're going to save ourselves some money. In fact, we're, we, if you're the engineer on the job, you got to you got to be the cost engineer and figure out the least cost. So that's going to be six hundred and six hundred and seventy three thousand dollars with that uh, pumping station, if you will, put at eleven point five. Okay. So the, there's your function. Review that again. Uh, the the positioning of G was pivotal. So we just assumed that there was some place in between here where G could optimally, optimally be placed. We designated that as X. Um, our cost was $10,000 uh, uh, per mile out, out at C, which is, at, which is the length AD, uh, and fit 5,000 miles along land, which is the length DC. And uh, in terms of X, this designating BD as X, um, by uh, Pythagorean theorem, we found AD to be uh, 20, the root of 20 squared plus X squared, and the overland root to be 100 minus X. Okay, we got our function. Function is by no means um, quadratic or quasi-quadratic. Uh, we, we reasoned that the range of values for our function was between 0 and X, or between 0 and 100. And um, we keyed our function in. To our calculator, okay, uh, and there it is. Our function keyed into our calculator. We distributed the five on that, okay, uh, and that function. Then we looked at our table values, running between uh, increments of five, and seeing that we bottomed out somewhere uh, between zero and twenty-five on the values of x. So we set our table up. I mean, we set up a window to run x between 0 and 25, and then the y values, you could have run them up to 700, but, you know, just give us a, a, a smaller uh, a smaller range to look at in our window. We went with y from 6 to 700, and uh, with the graph, we saw, it, we saw it bottom out. We used our F5 feature with the minimum option, okay? We scroll to the to the left of that minimal value, enter. We scroll to the right of that minimal value, enter. And we found uh, that our, uh, I got a problem there. That's not around what you saw it the first time. Let's see. do it again. F5, okay, uh, minimum. And we scroll um, slightly to the left of that point of intersection and nailed it right there. And scroll down a little bit to the right of that point of intersection, nail it there, and let it do its work. Came up with a value of uh, x being at six at uh, 11.5 uh, miles in, 11.54 with a minimum cost of $673,000. So um, that's a great problem, and you'll have a couple of you'll have at least one of those in the exercises. Okay.